After he had said this, Jesus went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. When he had come near Bethphage and Bethany at a place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples saying, go into the village ahead of you. And as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Just say this, the Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it as he had told them. They were untying the colt. Its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? They said, the Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus. And after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. As he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. As he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. God, in your endless love for the human race, you sent our Lord Jesus Christ to take on our nature and to suffer death on the cross. In your mercy, enable us to share in his obedience to your will and in the glorious victory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. On the outskirts of Jerusalem, the donkey waited, not especially brave or filled with understanding. He stood and waited. How horses turned out into the meadow leap with delight. How doves released from their cages clatter away, splash with sunlight. But the donkey, tied to a tree as usual, waited. Then he let himself be led away. Then he let the stranger mount. Never had he seen such crowds. 
and I wonder if he at all imagined what was about to happen. Still, he was what he had always been, small, dark, obedient. I hope finally he felt brave. I hope finally he loved the man who rode so lightly upon him as he lifted one dusty hoof and stepped as he had to forward. It was palms and branches all the way, with clothing mixed in my path like mad. The house roofs seemed to heave and sway. The city walls flamed such flags they had a year ago on this very day. The air broke into a mist with bells. The old walls rocked with the crowd and cries. Had I said, good folk, mere noise repels, but give me the sun from yonder skies. They would have asked answered. Oops. Should I start all over again? You can just start with the biggie. That's okay. right. The air broke into a mist with bells. The old walls rocked with the crowd and cries. Had I said, good folk, mere noise repels, but give me the sun from yonder skies. They would have answered, and then what else? Alas, it was I who leaped at the sun to give it to these crowds to keep. Nothing man could do have I left undone. And you see my harvest, what I reap. This very day, now the week is run. There's no one on the housetops now. Just a weekly few at the windows sit. For the best of the sight is all agree. 
at Golgotha's hill, or better yet, by the very cross's base they see. I go in the rain, and more than needs, a rope cuts both my wrists behind, and I think by the feel my forehead bleeds, for they fling whoever has a mind, stones at me for my life's misdeeds. Thus I entered, and thus I go. In triumph, people have dropped down dead. Paid by the world, what do you owe me? God might question. Now, instead, tis God shall repay. I am safer so. My song is love unknown, my Savior's love to me, love to the loveless shown, that they might lovely be. Oh, who am I that for my sake my Lord should take frail flesh and die. My Lord shall take frail flesh and die. He came from his blessed throne, salvation to bestow. But men made strange and none, the longed for Christ would know. But who, my friend, my friend, indeed, who at his need his life did spend, who at my need his life did spend. Sometimes they strewed his way, and his sweet praises sing, resounding all the day. Hosannas to the King, then crucify is all their breath, and for his death they thirst and cry, and for his death they thirst and cry. Why, what hath my Lord done? What makes this rage and spite? He made the lame to run, He gave the blind their sight. Sweet injuries, yet they at these, Themselves displeased and against Him rise, Themselves displeased and against Him rise. Drawn close to the heart of God, we offer these prayers for the church, the world, and all who are in need. We pray for the church, called to follow Jesus in the way of the cross. Make us unflinching servants of the gospel. Deliver us from hardship as we confront the forces of injustice and practice radical compassion. Merciful God, receive our prayer. For the earth and all its inhabitants created in love, train us to recognize your divine goodness in the world around us. Rouse in us a reverence for creation that we take greater care of its resources. Merciful God, receive our prayer. For those who suffer, waiting expectantly for mercy and consolation. Accompany those who feel abandoned or betrayed, defend those who are wrongly accused, and embrace those who are incarcerated or detained. Heal those who are ill, especially those we name in our hearts. Merciful God, receive our prayer. For Christians around the world, preparing this week to journey with Jesus to the cross, 
Reveal to us once again the earth-shaking power of humble service, unmerited forgiveness, and sacrificial love. Lead us all from death to life. Merciful God, receive our prayer. O oh God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single piece. Let the design of your great love overcome the waste of our wrath and desire for revenge, so that the fabric of a common good may be woven, too strong to be torn by the evil hands of war. In Ukraine, where hearts are fearful, grant reassurance and courage in this time of peril. Be with Ukraine's leaders and with the leaders of Russia to confront one another without violence, hatred, and distrust. Merciful God, receive our prayer. We remember those who have died, who were commended into your hands. Remember us when you come into your kingdom and prepare a place for each of us with you in paradise. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Accept the prayers we bring, O God, on behalf of a world in need, for the sake of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I want Jesus to walk with me all along my pilgrim journey. Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me when I'm in trouble. Lord, walk with me when I'm in trouble. Lord, walk with me. When my head is bound in sorrow, Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me. trials, Lord, walk with me. When my heart is almost raging, Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me. Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me. Lord, I want Jesus. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give humble thanks for all your goodness and the loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of your grace, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but also in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service 
and by walking before you in holiness and the righteousness of all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Over all the earth, you reign on high. Every mountain stream, every sunset sky. Lord, my one request, Lord, my only aim is that you reign in me again. Lord, reign in me, reign in your power over all my dreams. In my darkest hour, you are the Lord of all I am. Lord, you reign in me again. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.